And now it's time for the TV45 Golf Tip with Joe Christensen. Hi, this is Joe Christensen at the Refuge Golf Club. We're here on the par 5 13th in a greenside bunker. Last I left you with my approach shot to the hole, I left it just a little bit right and short, leaving me about 30 feet to the hole. On a typical bunker shot, I have my 60 degree wedge. You open the face up just a tad by just turning the club to the right a little bit. You want to open up your stance and your upper body and aim to the left. That way, when the club comes into the sand, the club face is going to be open. It's going to dig through the sand. The club should hopefully plop it up there right next to the hole. On this shot, however, I have an uphill lie, so I got to adjust for that. On an uphill lie in the bunker, instead of having your weight more forward like you would typically have on a bunker shot, you want to have your weight more back, so your angles of your shoulders and everything are more in sync with the angle of the bunker. On this shot, I'll just lean a little bit farther back. Normally, you play the ball quite a bit forward in your stance, almost like that of a driver, just at your left heel. And you want to swing on an outside to in path. And bring it outside and just let that club drop in right behind the ball, and that'll allow for maximum, maximum height and spin. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the ball here, aim left, open up the club face. Keep a, keep a little bit of my weight back on my right side. And go ahead and pick a spot about two inches behind the ball where I want the club to enter the sand. Now that ball had plenty of loft and plenty of spin because I followed those tips that I just gave you. Ball forward, open stance, open club face, and because of the slope of the, of the bunker, I kept more weight on my backside. Follow those tips and your bunker play will vastly improve. This has been Joe Christensen with the Refuge Golf Club.